I'm Steve Ferber, I'm an ICL Professor of Computer Engineering in the School of Computer Science at the University of Manchester. The Human Brain Project is a, an EU ICT flagship project, so it's funded under the ICT programme, so there's a strong uh, focus on computing and communications technology. Um, but with the Human Brain Project, the goal is to use that technology to accelerate progress in understanding the brain, basically. Spinnaker has been under development uh, with UK funding from EPSRC for uh, the last 10 years, um, but it was perfectly prepared to, uh, to move into the EU Human Brain Project uh, when that went live two and a half years ago, because we basically had a, a, a pretty near fully built platform uh, to bring to the Human Brain Project, which of course puts us in contact with a very wide community of, of European um, neuroscientists and computational neuroscientists who are the, the users that we want to attract to the platform. Spinnaker is a, um, a large computer designed specifically for supporting brain models. Uh, brains are composed of, of neurons, basic brain cells, and they communicate mainly by spiking. Um, so Spinnaker stands for Spiking Neural Network Architecture. It's a machine that's, that's uh, optimized for modeling um, the kinds of behaviours that are found in brains. The primary goal of HPP is to accelerate our understanding of information processing in the brain, which remains one of the great frontiers of science. We really don't know how the brain uh, handles information. We know a lot about the basic cells from which it's built and we can see the movement of activity using brain scanners, but we really don't know what's happening at intermediate levels. The most immediate applications of, of generating and understanding the brain would be uh, the, the prospect of better treatments for diseases of the brain. Um, the <clears throat> brain diseases cost the developed economies more than cancer, heart disease and diabetes put together, so economically it's extremely important. Uh, but we also have an interest in using our understanding of the brain to build in innovative computer architectures to help computers become better at the sort of things that humans do very naturally uh, using their brains, but computers still struggle to do. These are um, things such as understanding a complex environment, which clearly uh, is vital if we want to build uh, safe driverless cars in the future, um, recognising images, um, understanding videos and so on. These are all very difficult for computers at the moment. For me, the most interesting recent development in AI is the triumph of the Google DeepMind AlphaGo system. Uh, over the World Go Championship. Uh, following uh, the defeat of Gary Kasparov in, 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 in the late 90s by Deep Blue, Go has, has been the outstanding grand challenge for computer uh, game playing. And, and that challenge was uh, finally broken or won by AlphaGo um, in recent weeks. Now AlphaGo um, uses an approach which is quite strongly based on, on, on hierarchical brain-like models. It's a technique we call deep learning. Um, and AlphaGo um, uses deep learning, it plays against itself and different variants of itself millions of times and that, that, that's how it trains for these competitions. Um, so that's a real triumph for, for a brain-inspired computing algorithm. So the next big step um, for, for us, for Spinnaker, is that uh, on March the 30th, 2016, um, the Human Brain Project is launching um, uh, six of its uh, major platforms. These are platforms covering uh, neuromorphic computing, which is where we fit in, um, neuro robotics, um, neural informatics, medical informatics, and so on. So these are six major ICT platforms um, which are being thrown open to the wider community. So uh, from the end of this month, anybody will be able to come and apply to run jobs on any of these platforms. And, and uh, we're looking forward very much to uh, seeing what the wider world can, can do with Spinnaker.